Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial on how to essentially install every single package from World of AI and install it into your FSX with realistic sounds, replacing the default hairdryer sounds that FSX and Flight Simulator 2004 gives you. So it's a fairly simple install to do, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to do it. So there are three things you need to download. So first of all, the World of AI package itself. All links will be in the description, feel free to use that. So first of all, what you want to do is head for the installer from the whatever I install website, click on the package page and download the top link here from either avsim or flightsim.com. So click on that, it's open it in a new tab and what you can do then is just click on download and World of AI will download for you automatically. So save that and download's been done. Next of all, you want to go to this link here from the Vatsim forums and install the World of AI package downloader. Basically it's a program that lets you download every single package from World of AI and save it into your local area. So what you want to do is go to this first link here, vpi.metacraft, click on that, save it, and it then downloads the World of AI installer. And third of all, the realistic AI sounds for your aircraft. So what you want to do is go to this website here, Mave Creations, scroll down to the bottom where you see download sounds on download sounds it will open a dropbox link then go to downloads direct downloads and click on save and then downloads the sounds to your local hard drive so once all three loads are downloaded drag and drop them into a separate folder somewhere that you can easily find them once you have downloaded all of the packages, it's now time to set it all up. So first of all, we'll be dealing with the World of AI installer. So first of all, what you want to do is create a new folder and just name it installer. Select the World of AI installer 24.zip file and drag and drop it into the installer folder. Open it up and using either WinRAR or 7-zip or even the Windows built-in extractor, just extract all the files to here and the World of AI installer will set itself up. Now what you can do is head back to your World of AI folder and open up this program here, World of AI Downloader.executable. Double click on that, run the program and it will pop up this. So first of all what we want to do is set up your Avsim username and password using your Avsim files account, not your forums account. Put in your username and password up here. Head over to Sim, in this case I'll be installing it to FSX, but you can install it also to FS9. And what you want to do is browse your folder you're going to put it into. In this case, I just stuck it in C World of AI. Select all the airlines you want. So in this case, go for everything. Although if you want specific airlines, you can just do it from each airline per country. So it's your German airlines, your Finnish airlines, your Danish airlines. And what you can do is select all the airlines you want and click on download selected packages. What the program will now do is go through Avsim and download all of the World of AI packages and stick it in here, your World of AI folder. So you see you've got World of AI, Sophia Airways, THV, GOL, BY, and VDV. And that will slowly populate your list with all of the packages from World of AI. This may take a few minutes, but bearing in mind you are downloading every single airline, it's expected to take a little while. Once you have downloaded all of the World of AI packages, you are now free to close the program since you do not need it anymore. What we're now going to do is set up the sounds for the AI aircraft, replacing the default hairdryer sounds from the 737. So there are two things you need to do. First of all, open up the AI sounds.zip folder we downloaded earlier. So you see here we've got five different sound effects. What you want to do is head into your FSX folder, Steam, Steam Common FSX, or your CD FSX in C Program Files Games, Microsoft Flights Games FSX, and go down to Sim Objects, Aeroplanes, and drag and drop these five files into your Airplanes folder. Replace any um, replacements it needs. So you now have five new f uh, files within your Sim Objects folder. What we can now do is close the zip file and the FSX folder and head into your installer folder as you are now going to replace the AI sounds.txt. Basically, this points World of AI to the sounds that your simulator will be looking for. So head to the fourth link 
I've put in the description, this OneDrive link. And what you want to do is click on download and just save it. What you'll then get is this file here, aisounds.txt. And what you want to do is drag and drop it to your World of AI installer folder, replacing the one you've already got. Now, what it will do is point all the aircraft to the brand new sounds files you've just put into the FSX um, sim objects folder. You can now close that, open up the installer, and from this point on, it's just simply installing all of your World of AI packages. So I click on next, select your simulator to FSX, so in this case, already found the default FSX path for Steam. Click on the two dots here, and what you now want to do is go to your World of AI folder, where we've downloaded all the packages. What you can now do is click on the first file, scroll to the bottom, and holding shift, click on the last file, and click on open. Since one thing you can do with the World of AI installer is install every single package at the same time. So click on next, agree to the terms and conditions, click on install, and it will now run the World of AI multi package install. Again, it will take a few moments since you are now installing every single package onto your flight simulator. Once you have installed all of your World of AI packages, there is still one more thing you need to do. So feel free to exit the program and head over to your FSX folder where you need to go down to Sim Objects, Airplanes, and scroll down to UGA underscore HTAI Gulfstream 3 parts 1 and 2. And what we want to do is just delete both of those since there's an issue in there airplanes.aircraft.config causing error messages when you start up the simulator. So just simply delete them, close the folder, and start up FSX as you would. One thing I would also recommend is never have your airline traffic densities and general aviation densities above 25%. Essentially what will happen is too much traffic, you will lag out your system and through air traffic control you would never get clearance or anything as there are too many aircraft at each airport. So 25% is a safe number to be at in this case. Anyways, head over to your free flights and load up at any airport with AI jets or general aviation. And once you're inside the simulator, you should now be in a world of realistically sounding populated AI traffic. So if I go for the 737-300s, it now sounds much better than the hairdryer sounds you got in the default aircraft. Your airport environments will also drastically improve as you now both have realistic aircraft with real world airlines and they all have realistic sounds which make aircraft taxiing, departing and landing also sound much more realistic within the airport. So if you found this tutorial helpful do leave a like and also do subscribe as it does help the channel out. And likewise, if there's anything else you guys want to know, any other tutorials I could do for you guys, do let me know down below, as I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do leave a like, I said, do get subscribe, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.